Hey, so this is Phone Tech Kid, and right now I'm doing my full review on MIUI um, for the Nexus 7. I have a link below. I'll have a link below on how to install this, a video on how to install it, and also for the ROM itself. So to unlock, you slide, and it's kind of like a page, and it unlocks it. And so MIUI is really, really customizable. Um, it's definitely not for everybody. It, like for example, it doesn't come with an app drawer, so everything is here, like kind of like an iPad or an Apple product. Um, so the notification center is also different. You have your toggles here, and then you have your notifications here. It's kind of cool. Um, and it's also what I like about the notification center is. Um, kind of like how do you say camouflage so you can't really see it so if we go down here in the settings um so it has two sections common settings where it's just like wi-fi bluetooth launcher wallpaper that stuff so um if we go on the launcher you have different transition effects um themes or yeah and just some other stuff um, so if you go in here, there's a lot of different ways you could try scrolling. Right now it's on page. Uh, we could try, let's see, um, crossfade. Kind of fades away. Um, oops. We could try cascade. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Sorry. Um. So. Yeah, it's really customizable. Um. It also comes with its own apps, like its own camera, settings, music, which I don't have any music on this, but it's supposed to be pretty cool. And I don't know if you noticed it added at the bottom. Usually you just have these three. It adds um, menu. So that's kind of cool. Um, right here is something that says themes. If you click on that, this is the main reason why people get it. So it shows you a bunch of themes. These are the themes that are already installed. And then you have online right here. So we could go through and find a theme that you like. Let's say I want Angry Birds. And you click on it. And you press download at the bottom. And it should say downloading then. And you can tell at the top it is downloading. And when it's done, I'll show you how to do it. Um, so um, to change apps or add widgets, um, you zoom out. And then you have a list of widgets here that you can come with the ROM. So let's say I want, uh, let's see, maybe Play Store recommendations right here. You drop it and choose which one you want. When you're done, you double tap or press home, and then there it is. So. Yeah, it's different than other ROMs. It also does come with a file explorer. So you can look through here and see SD card, categories, and mid drive. So, I don't focus. Yeah, so it says SD card. Sorry, my camera isn't focusing right now. Um. So yeah, there. The rest of the stuff you'll kind of have to learn yourself. Um, on Steam, then downloading, and so this is where your downloads will be. It's, it'll say downloaded right there. And if you click on it, it'll have your downloaded ROM, ROMs. I mean, sorry, themes. It's almost done, and everything is in Japanese, I think. So. 
I mean, you just kind of ignore that stuff. And so there it's done downloading. So you go here and click on downloaded. You choose that theme. And then at the bottom it says apply. Click apply. And we'll apply it. There you go, so it applied the theme, and it'll update it. And there you go, um, so I guess well, that's pretty cool, so it's kind of almost like a game. you could go back that's pretty cool and it customized all your apps and the lock screen should also be different now so yeah that's how you unlock so I hope you enjoyed this video um, it, pre it is a pretty cool ROM maybe not for everybody but it's okay so as I said installation and ROM is down below so I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.